In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Through him, then let us continually offer up a sacrifice. Now, there's several passages that we've already looked at, and, and you, you may be thinking, man, that is running the sacrifice thing in the ground. But there's so many aspects of it that we haven't even touched. But this is the last time we're going to be looking at sacrifice. And as we've looked at this living sacrifice, this holy sacrifice, this repentant sacrifice, this total sacrifice that we give back to God, that is similar to those offerings that they offer up in the Old Testament. Here, this sacrifice that the writer of Hebrew tells us is a sacrifice of praise. A sacrifice of praise to God. And as we continue reading this, it says, That is the fruit of the lips that acknowledge His name. Do not be or neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. In the reading that Gary read, we read there that God is the, the soul about God, and he says, if I need this, I've got this. If I need this, I've got this. I own the whole world and all that's in it. But what I really want from my people is if they call on me, and if they express praise, if they express thanksgiving, then when they call on me, I will answer them. So the sacrifice here, the last couple points of the outline from this morning that I want to share with you, is the sacrifice that God wants. He wants a sacrifice of praise and of thanksgiving. It says there that praise and thanksgiving, that is the fruit of our lips. What's that mean? What comes out of our mouth? Jesus says in Luke 6.45 that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. For what's in here is what's going to come out in here. And God knows that, that if we can have these things of praise and of thanksgiving, if we can have that coming out of our heart, that it's going to express in our language, in the way we talk, in the way we pray, in the way we converse with one another, that if we can do that, He says, that is sacrifice of praise that God's happy with. Just a couple more verses. If you got if you got your Bibles, and again you should because it's church night, turn to Psalm 107. The 107th Psalm, when you look at this in verses 21 and 22, let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to the children of man, and let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his deeds in song. In songs of joy. To tell of his deeds. King James, I believe, reads that word declare of his deeds. And when you look at what that word tell and declare mean in the, the Hebrew here, it means to announce, to talk, to speak, to tell, to recount. That those things, there again, that fruit of our lips as we say it, as we tell it, as we announce it, as we recount all of the good that God's done for us. That's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. One that God's happy with. And then that last one, that last sacrifice that God wants of us, and what's required of us, is there again in that Hebrews passage, chapter 13. We read verse 15 and Finished out there in verse 16. And in that text, he tells us. Now I've already turned the page for that. But he mentions in that last verse to do good and to share. And not only is this sacrifice of praise that we offer up, the sacrifice of thanksgiving, the fruit of our lips, but we've got to remember that not only are our sacrifices individual and it's a it's an inward thing that we're doing. But the sacrifices we give out, it's got to be an outward thing as well. And it, it's a lot of that doing good. It's a lot of that ministry. As we talked about how we're all ministers, how we all have responsibility. And we all are playing that role of a minister. And, and we are you know, living lives of, of accountants and, and businessmen and women and, and, and 
and grandmas and grandpas and moms and dad, but our primary, primary role, our role is to be that of a minister, to share and to do good for as many people as we can. So as we as we look at these sacrifices, that, that verse there in Hebrews chapter chapter 13, verse 16, he says there at the beginning, do not neglect to do good. Other versions read, do not forget to do good. It's a warning. It's a warning because it's really easy for us to forget to do good to others when we're so caught up in ourselves. Don't forget. Don't neglect to go out and to do good for others and to share with what you have for these sacrifices are pleasing to God. So when we look at trying to just barely abide, what's the minimum that we got to do? Church, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I would be remiss to tell you that, or if I didn't tell you that, it's a huge responsibility to be a Christian. It's an awesome responsibility to, do, to be a Christian. And it's not easy. He never promised us that it would be easy. He promised us that there would be times of difficulty. There would be times of joy and happiness. There would be times of heartache and temptation and problems. But our responsibility of being a Christian is massive. And we talk about all of these things, about all these different sacrifices that we've got to do, that we have to be, if we want to be pleasing to God. It's just like that recipe, you're trying to make some sort of casserole, and you want to make it just like it was made in that recipe that you had from Grandma or somebody else at church, and, and you take it, you want it to taste exactly the same, and you've got to follow that recipe exactly the same way that's written down on that card. And if it's a pie, sure, it takes flour to make a pie. But you can't make a pie with just flour. It takes sugar to make that pie. But you can't make a pie with just the flour and the sugar. You've got to use everything, that conglomeration of things that are mentioned that says this is what it takes to make this pie. And I'm afraid a lot of times we take these, our sacrifice that's pleasing God. If we want to be pleasing God, we'll take one verse, we'll pick one of those things, and that's what we'll do. All of these that we've read today. This morning and this evening. He says these are sacrifices. They are pleasing to God. And it is a lot. But I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want to discourage you. I want to challenge you. I want to inspire you. And even though it's a lot, it's not impossible to do. In fact, it's very accomplishable for us. And if we go out and do these things, that we can be pleasing to God. How much better way can you live your life? Your spouse can be happy with you. That's nice. Your boss can be happy with you. That's great. Your family can be pleased with you. Well, that's just that's that's awesome for that to happen. But to say that God is pleased with you. Person, man or woman, young man or young woman that does these types of sacrifices. That when we get up and when that person gets up to the judgment seat of Christ, and the Lord reads those deeds that they've done in the body, whether they be good or bad, our Lord can look at that individual who's offered these types of sacrifices. He's going to look at those deeds. And he's going to look back up at that person. And he's going to smile. Just as I did when I watched my boys up here lead these songs. Just as I did when I looked at all these young men up here and watched them and was proud of them and of their, their courage to come up here and stand. I looked up here when they walked by and said, Man, that's a great job. I'm proud. And it made you feel good inside. That's the way Christ will feel with us if we offer these types of sacrifices. Church will do it. We can do it. It's all about our progress. It's all about the time. It's all about our work. It's all about our ministry. So tonight as we leave here, and if the Lord tarries his coming to tomorrow morning, if we get, and we leave our homes, and we go out on our work week, and we go up to our businesses and our schools and wherever we are, you can get
begin that journey of offering that sacrifice to please you. You give a total sacrifice. You give a holy one. Knowing that you've been repentant, that your life is constantly being cleansed by that blood. You give a sacrifice that is one of praise and thanksgiving. You give a sacrifice to God as you go out on your day tomorrow that you, you do good for somebody and you share the message of the gospel that you have. And when you get home tomorrow night, again, if the Lord tears is coming, you lay your head down on your pillow, you can smile. Because you know, today, I accomplished the life. Today, I pleased God. Look at your life. If there's things that you need to fix, please God tonight, as we stand and sing that song of the